Welcome to the taxi cab of Cy and Rue. Today we're going to go over how it appears that I seem prepared for everything. All of you are thinking, Sean, why do you have a tool chest in the back of your car? What are you fixing with hammer and nails? Well, this is it. The secret to appearing like you're ready for everything. From the time my kids were very little, I always had something in the back of my car to prepare for every situation. This is a Husky tool chest. It can be found in Home Depot, Lowe's, on the internet. What I like about it is that it has wheels with a handlebar. So taking it in and out of the car is a cinch and I can wheel it in and wheel it out even when it's heavy. Depending on what age your child is, your tool chest will have different items in it. My tool chest is for a six-year-old and a four-year-old. My tool chest opens by a turn of a switch. There's a sliding factor and then it has two different compartments. One compartment that you can see through and another compartment that stays closed. In the compartment that you see through, I have a roll of plastic bags. These come in handy for diapers or any type of trash you may need to find in your car. I actually keep the one that has a container on it in next to my front seat. I always get trash, apples, all sorts of items that I have to throw away and it's very easy to unroll it, rip off the bag, and open it up throw your trash away. These can be found anywhere. You can find them at Babies R Us, online at diapers.com, Walmart, Target, they're everywhere. I have a pack of tissues that can be used as toilet wipes, sticky notepad, and loads and loads of band-aids because in our family band-aids make everything better I don't know why in my other two compartments I have post-it tape yes post-it tape because I'm starting to mail packages left and right you can never have too many hair accessories as well as feminine hygiene. I keep little bottles of Purell for when I need them to for my purse or as well as to sanitize after we've been somewhere. Surprisingly, I have used my bungee cord plenty of times. When I need to lock something in my car so it won't fall over, as well as for my kids to play with. In the other side that you can't see through, I have an extra trash bag roll to refill what I have in the front. I have my kids' shot records, an extra t-shirt for their school, adult socks for when we go to the bounce houses, and the many birthday parties that you need adult socks for. And you can never forget the endless supply of quarters. Quarters for merry-go-rounds, as well as quarters to pay the parking meter. A spare bottle of water, because right now it's getting cool in South Florida and not as hot in my car. Extra snack. I have my uniform for when I volunteer at my kid's school. An umbrella for the rainy days and my latest item that I found on the market disposable compressed wipes these disposable wipes are truly amazing you open up the Ziploc bag 
pull out the compressed white. I use my bottle of water that's in my car. You can use a water fountain, anything you have with liquid. Pour it on the white while squeezing and you'll see it expand. As it expands, you unwrap it and there you have it. A wipe that can be used for anything. These are awesome for airports. These are awesome for putting in your purse so all the liquid doesn't leak out. In the larger section of the bag, I have the headphones for my car. These are rarely used unless we go on bigger trips or late night stays. Another amazing invention by an awesome company, the Pop Head Plus Potty. This is a portable potty that can be used as a cover to a potty or an actual potty. I will have another review specifically on the Popit Potty on how I potty trained my kids. This comes with disposable porti portable potty liners. A little potty that she can use to pee on. Long car rides, short car rides, potty training. That is an awesome invention. I'm going to start with our sandals. We live in South Florida again where we always go to the beach and we never know when we're going to the beach. I use my sandals for when I wear a pair of heels and I find that my feet are hurting. I keep all of our sandals in one plastic bag. I have clothes for each of us. A change of clothes for me. A change of clothes for my husband. And for when my husband has to run into the hospital when he's out with us, I have an extra pair of scrubs. A change of clothes for, for my daughter. This also includes long sleeve and a pair of pants right now because it's getting cold in the evening. Same thing for my son. It has short sleeves and long sleeves in here. In a discreet package, I have my daughter's pull-up diapers for when we have late nights and we're getting ready to drive home and I know she's going to fall asleep, I have a pull-up diaper. The most important item I have is our wet bag. Inside our wet bag we have a spare towel which can be used for picnics as well as drying off. Drying off from the beach or a pool or when we go to a party at a friend's house and all of a sudden it turns into a pool party, I have a bathing suit for everybody in here. My husband, my son, me, and my daughter. After they're done swimming, everything returns to the wet bag, nice and wet and used, as well as the towel. And all of it goes straight into the laundry when we get home and then I can pack it right back up to return it to the car. Extra things that I have that I find useful to have, an extra bag to carry around if I need, if I'm tired of bringing my purse around and I only want to bring my wallet, I oftentimes use these jujube little sacks. Inside this one that I have, plastic bags. You never know when you might have to split a snack between two kids, as well as use it for wet clothing, dirty underwear, dirty clothes, or dog poop. Another item that I've been carrying around since my son's birth is this awesome jujube diaper pad. It's super thick, as well as water resistant. So when I attend my six-year-old soccer games and I forget my chair, I can rest this on the ground when the ground is wet and sit on it and my butt stays dry as well as a nice cushion so I'm not sitting on the hard ground. I have found numerous uses, although it seems like I don't need it anymore, 
I just continuously use it. You'll see that it currently has chocolate on it as well as other food items because recently my daughter ate ice cream in the car and when the car seat was all dirty, took her out, changed her clothes, put this in, and now she has a clean place to sit. Coming to my last item that I carry in my tool chest is an item that I invented. I will not do a review on this item because this item is coming November 12th. I bring this item to restaurants, to birthday parties, or any place I think she might get a little messy. This item will be released November 12th. I'll have an e-commerce website as well as the Team Up for Toys charity with our big launch. So, as a mom and an educational psychologist, I tell you, toss out the bibs and bring on the mess. We're almost there. See you later, alligator.